Where We're back. Do I get a key? Where do I get a key? Break more Where shit. Where do I get a key? Who knows? If you break all the things in the room, the path will be revealed. Is it in the sky? No, it's a train to New Jersey. Is it in the sky with diamonds? That's a that's a New York subway joke. Ha, yeah. Ha ha. Silly. That's that's something that by our demographics, only one person will get. Wow, that's really specific. Yeah. Is it you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's very specific. Yes. I I I, I thought that I, you know, I, I didn't want to leave anyone out, so I decided to leave everyone out. Ooh. That skeleton has a power weapon, I guess. No, Joe, don't die. We just started a new episode. Maybe uh, sloppy. Ah! Uh, Scarf down some pizza. That seems like the thing to do. Oh, hey, you're you're at 704 out of 750 experience points. So just kill those skeleton things or whatever. Yeah. Oh, you don't get nearly as much experience from them as I was hoping you would. Careful, there's eels in a spike pit. And blood! Good job, you did it. Now smash all the things. Ah, Don't die. Oh, it's an alien! Oh my god! You dummy. Hey, you dummy. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that. Uh, did we do it? I think we did it. Alright, I'm gonna go home now. Thank you for participating in this social experiment. Yeah. Was that helpful? What are we doing? I don't know. No one's gonna like this. <laughs> I mean, no one's still watching this. Can we put like, can can we put like like a like a big text thing in the beginning to say like, definitely smoke drugs before this? No, because that's not true. Did you smoke drugs? No, no, I'm not saying that we did. I'm did saying you, that we should tell our audience. Did you have a drug cigarette? Too. Did I have a magic cigarette? Yeah. Wacky tobacky? Yeah. Other outdated name for pot? No, I did not do any of those. Why not? Because I try to take care of my voice, but more importantly, because I have such a high tolerance for pot that it doesn't really do a lot for me. That's good. So the only thing that does get me high is dabbing. Which I've only done once because my little brother thought it would be funny. That's and fun. It made me a non-functional human being. Because holy crap is it strong. <laughs> That's for those cool. not For those not aware, it's basically like some super... Oh, Don't yeah, worry, I have a life. You did. Um, but it's basically it, this like super concentrated wax that you like vaporize and it's pure THC and shit. It's it's really like real strong. I don't know where to go. Um Those noises don't help me, Colin. As much well, as you think they do. There's there's a wait, go to the map again? Bottom right, there's a flame door. Smack it with your flame weapon. It's not a flame door, it's just locked. Uh there's that thing. What? I don't know. Uh, shit. Yeah, it's just locked. Shit. I need a simple key. You have extraordinary keys. Why don't you have a simple key? Do I? I thought you did. Do break you? more shit. Like, break all of this shit. There you go. Three more experience, and you will... You will have... You will have another skill point that won't help you with your current conundrum. That sounds almost too exciting. Well, geez, there has to be a, a key somewhere. Uh, is that true? I mean, theoretically. Unless the, the game was designed to procedurally screw you after a certain period of time. I mean, probably. I probably want some more quarters. Man, I'm glad that's not a thing anymore. Because I've dropped enough money on arcades. I heard stuff. someone say recently that... The only truly way to secure information is to say I at the end of a long podcast. 
Well, well, the trick is you have to always end your podcast with like five minutes of advertising and plug. And then you can say whatever you want and no one will ever hear it. Right. So like it, it's like how I, always, I never listened to the last like three minutes of how did this get made when they just ask their guests if they have anything to plug. Because there's usually never anything after that. Or is there? So they could be, they could be, you know, sending out Russian codes for all I know. They are actually. Smash, smash the things uh, on the corners. But yeah, that's that's probably the the most secure place to hide that shit. Or that time where we didn't get enough time for an episode for for a game we were playing, so we played Google Map games for an hour and a half. Why did we do that? That was really dumb. <laughs> or that other time that we didn't have enough for an episode, so we played a dating sim for five minutes. What? That was all you. That was your fault. Or that other other time where I tried playing Papers, Please by myself, and it was a terrible experience because I had no one to talk to. You did. You just didn't listen to them. But that's what the medication does, Joe. Yeah, it just makes your episodes a lot more less less interesting. <laughs> you really should stop. Well, I've, that's that's as good a reason I've heard as any. Oh, just, just break break the thing. What's the worst that can? You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> What's the worst that? Oh, you're dead. And there's spiders in it. And there's spiders in it. Whoa! Oh, you shouldn't have done that one too. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, really, that was your fault. Where is this dang key? Danky. Video game danky? No? Okay, that's fine. So yeah, just break more shit. No, no, go, 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 break, it's not gonna it. be in a hallway. Well, it might. It's not gonna be in, it's not gonna be in the hallway. Look at all this shit that you haven't broken. I definitely Just use broke your this. shield on the thing that that'll hurt you, or not, or or do not. That's fine too. Well, there's arrows that you don't need. Maybe it's in one of these chairs. Why would they put a key in a chair? I don't know. What is this? I also don't know. You can't jump in it. You've got a corresponding weapon, but it doesn't seem to react. Why? You know, Joe, I'm beginning to think that you should have an arcane weapon. Yeah, how do I get it? I don't know. Have... You know what? To make this more exciting, I think I will just start running a Pathfinder game for you right now. Okay. Who Did am you bring I? Your character sheet. Yes. Okay, I'll roll for you so you don't have to, you know, split your focus. Okay. So, you wake up. Uh huh. In a room. Who am I? Uh, you haven't found out yet. You're well, blindfolded. I should really know who I am, even if I'm blindfolded. You try to remember who you are, but all you can remember is the nostalgic smell of a beet soup. Uh, am I Dwight? No, you're dead. Dang! <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> this is pretty good effort. This is the only episode. We have a minute, so I guess we can continue <laughs> your adventure. Let's go look at the menus. Oh, it dinged! You get up. You take off your blindfold. You are a gnome. That sucks. You were wearing... Pants, uh huh. Half of a shirt, uh huh. And have a large axe, but whether this axe is large in relation to yourself or in general is unknown to you. Probably, shouldn't I know? Next to you, should shouldn't I know? Is a small goblin, small. which is to say, a smaller than usual goblin. Rel relative to what? Relative to yourself. How big are goblins normally? About the same size as you, but this How one seems this smaller. Goblin? This goblin is about a foot tall. What's his name? He hasn't introduced himself. Can I ask He's him also his name? dead. Oh. 
So I can't ask him his name? Now on this goblin is a key. Uh-huh. And in front of you is a door. Uh-huh. What do you do? I put the key in the goblin. All right. You manage to snugly fit the key into the goblin's nose. What happens? Nothing. The goblin is dead. I turn the key. You, with some effort, manage to turn and crank the key as you feel intense resistance eventually giving way with a lar- with a loud splurt as various things start dripping out of the goblin's nose and you turn the key. The door, the door opens. Open. Yeah! I was right. I closed the door. <laughs> the door is closed. Can I open it again? You notice that the key has turned back. Does the door open? No. I kick the door. The door falls on you. <laughs> Am I dead? No. Can I stand up? Yes. Can I kick the door again? Yes. What happens? The door disintegrates. Yes! Why you am I kicked so strong? The door. You get 200 experience. What level am I? Currently second. Huh. Okay. What's so, that mean? You're in a room. And there is a ho- there is what once was a door, but now is just an open archway in front of you. The dead goblin with the key in its nose. What do you do? Uh, do I have a kaleidoscope? You do not. You seem to remember having misplaced your kaleidoscope at home. So what am I supposed to do? Hmm. Would you like to cast an illusion? Yes. You cast an illusion of a kaleidoscope, but only make yourself more sad than you were for not having had your kaleidoscope in the first place. Can I look in the illusionary kaleidoscope? Yes. I do that. You see a kaleidoscope. What do I see through the kaleidoscope? A second kaleidoscope. Shouldn't it be like colors and stuff? No, it just appears to be a kaleidoscope of a kaleidoscope. How does that work? Well, when if you were to remove the kaleidoscope from your face, you would notice that your kaleidoscope is right across from you, and you were looking in, into that through the first kaleidoscope. Do you know what a kaleidoscope is? Yes. I don't think it would make sense. It is a subset of Maraca. Can I, I spin the kaleidoscope thing? Yes. What happens to the colors and stuff? They blur together and almost seem to dance. Yeah, that's what a kaleidoscope does. As you feel your eye melting out of its socket. Great. Do you stop looking through the kaleidoscope? No. It's just getting good. Very well. The kaleidoscope fuses into your head. Am I a kaleidoscope man? Your vision seems to be completely normal, except for the fact that everything is doused in beautiful colors. Are we done yet? We've been done. I'm very confused and scared. I've just been curious where you would go. I bet you didn't expect kaleidoscope face. You contrarian little shit. (laughs) Are you excited if we ever actually play D&D or Pathfinder or whatever? Yeah. Or is it going to be fun? We, I mean, we've played together before. No. And honestly, I would be on board to do more of more improv-y type stuff, more improv type sessions and more silly nonsense. We should stop. Probably. Because I've just been doing nothing. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's been enthralled by your Complete refusal to go through a door. (laughs) Alright, this should have been over hours ago. What's through the door, you might might wonder? Is it another door? We'll never know, because you never went through. Oh. What what happened to my guy? Hmm? What happened to me? uh, Currently, he is sitting in the room with a kaleidoscope slowly assimilating into his head. (laughs) And there's a dead goblin. (laughs) And there was a door, but it disintegrated... Really a lot happened in that short period of time. 
All right. Bye. Bye. This was stupid. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs>